Hey folks, thank you for tuning in to our channel. This is Sean and I'm Uli. Thanks for tuning into Royal Tiger Imports. Folks, this is something really, really interesting we have here in front of us and uh, we were working with it for a long, long time. I told you in my previous videos, you know, I went uh, numerous times to Africa and we brought these M2 parts kits back in the country last year. But of course, you know, we didn't, they couldn't come in with a barrel and there were some minor parts missing and they didn't have any tripods. So basically we contacted a US military um, contractor and they were able to basically sell us the, the missing parts, which we didn't have. So et voila, we have here everything you need for the M2 heavy machine gun, uh, except the right side plate, since that's a machine gun, ATF had us remove this side plate um, in Africa. But anyhow, you get everything here and most of the parts are original World War II. I looked at the right side plates uh, before we took them off in, in Africa and many of them were made by General Motors. But anyways, this is beautiful World War II vintage um, US history M250 Cal. And um, yeah, Shaw will tell you more about the different items and um, parts of that of that machine gun. And uh, you know, I'm glad they're here. I'm glad we have all the parts, and you will finally be able to buy them. We got a lot of um, a lot of interest, you know, on on our website for these, and I got also phone conversations, emails. Hey, when do you have them for sale? Here they are. Shaw, please. Sure. Well, as Uli said, this has been a very high demand item, even though we haven't had it listed just yet, but everybody's been beating down our door to get it, and we're glad to have it all together and ready to sell. Uh, as you mentioned, they're World War II era and in pretty great shape for their age, uh, considering they were over in Ethiopia for decades. Uh, everything is in pretty nice shape overall, and I'll get you a video up close in just a little bit. All right, folks, stay tuned, and Shaw will give you all the detailed information for these parts kits. Thanks for watching, God bless, and God bless America. All right, folks, let's get a closer look. Starting with the tripod, you can see that this is a new production tripod. It's patterned off of the originals. However, it is basically identical to the originals. You can see you've got your t and &E adjustment bar and we have our pintle as well as our nice U.S. Ordnance badge on the tripod. And when this thing is laid out, it is quite the piece. It makes quite the presence. Moving on to the smaller parts, you can see we have our barrel extension, bolt, charging handle with the side plate, recoil spring, spade grips, all the internals. You can also see this is one of our new production it's an exact reproduction of the rear sights. Some of the rear sights that we had out of Africa had a broken windage or elevation knob, or we're missing the rear peep sight, etc. So we have these that we will be swapping out if one is broken on the gun. Like I said, it's exactly like the original. We also have our new production and original spade grip. You can see that they are basically identical, except for the grip. We have the black plastic grip, compared to the brown, more Bakelite grip. We also have the body of the gun. You can notice this one does have a nice, complete rear sight. It does have a little bend in the peep sight, but otherwise complete, and that can be heated up and bent back into place. And you can see this thing is in not too bad a condition. It does have a little bit of light surface rust and some oil and grease on the inside that needs to be cleaned out, but otherwise, Pretty impressive considering its age. You can also see the top cover has that little switch and we'll pull that back and you can see all of the internals for the belt feeding pole etc. And finally the barrel. This is quite the barrel. This is weighs at least 20 to 30 pounds and of course it is chambered in 50 BMG. Overall, when this thing is assembled, it is probably the one of the largest guns that you can find, especially at your local range. If you were to bring this, this would make quite the presence. Thank you very much for watching. God bless.